okay so let's get started here so I'm, I'm going to cover some Cisco certification updates uh, recently uh, four or five days before on June 10th uh, there is a major change in the Cisco certifications so probably I'm going to uh, walk through with those uh, updates here so the, the basic updates includes like the changes uh, whatever the updates these these changes are going to uh, take into come into effect from February to 24 2020 okay so so which means from February 2024 so all the changes whatever I'm going to discuss that comes into effect so which means before that till February 23 you can still go with the existing certification programs so I'll also talk about the migration as well so all the certification tracks and the levels are being affected because in general normally from Cisco if there are any updates normally the updates will be coming on specific tracks like let's say we are talking about security let's say CCI security we may have some uh, version 3 and there is a change to version 4 so whatever the updates that's going to impact only that particular track again we have a CCNP security uh, maybe a new paper is added and maybe one of the old paper has been you know uh, removed and with the new topics or uh, basically you know few few topics will be added like like recently the routing switching version changed from 5.0 to 5.1 so adding some uh, additional concepts so basically like those are the like minor changes but the current Cisco certification track has a major change and almost all the levels are being affected which means there is a change in all the all the tracks not only specific to individual tracks so again the main certifications remains the same you still have the three levels of certifications like CCNA, CCNP and CCIE you still have the same certification levels associate, professional and the expert level certifications so so one more change is the CCNA level the different tracks has been removed it means now we used to have we generally have you know these are the tracks what we have uh, till before February 24 so we normally have a track for routing switching cloud data center security service for a wireless design so these all tracks are going to uh, expire so which means now you will have only one CCNA track and that is just CCNA okay so I'll talk more on uh, specifically contents what it's going to cover later on so there's only one CCNA so which means when you say CCNA that's that's just a CCNA so no more routing switching or no more security so even you don't have a CCNA security exam now so it's just a CCNA and of course you have a CCNA DevNet associate that is uh, developers basically uh, on a software development side so I'll be talking more on that uh, separately again so that is one of the major change so there's no more uh, CC uh, specializations so which means if you want to go with the security specializations you can directly jump into the CCNP security where you don't need to have any kind of prerequisite exams like we used to have CCNA security that is no more uh, required so you are going to jump in directly to the CCNP security exams or any other you know CCNP service border or CCNP data center like that so that is one more uh, one more change so the tracks as I said the tracks are being consolidated at the CCNP and the CCI level so if you are looking for security specialization you can directly jump into the CCNP security and then CCI security so there's no more CCNA uh, level specializations again one more change entry level CCNT is is no more it's going to retire so which means now you will not you will you don't need to really write like 100 105 that's a CCNT exam so that's that's going to expire now the main reason is like CCNA is the basic level where everyone starts with and even before that we have CCENT and in today's network you know everyone prefers to start with a CCNA uh, basically so there's no more entry level certifications and this is going to uh, retire after February and one more change the recertification uh, validity is going to be three years 
now this is for all the certifications including CCIE as well like uh, previously we used to have three years of validity for CCNA CCNP certifications and then you have two years uh, every two years you have to write a written exam to recertify yourself for the CCIE but now it's it's three years for all the certifications so these are some of the major uh, updates what you generally uh, find in the uh, CISO certificate update I'll, I'll just talk more on individual options like what are the changes you have in the CCNA and what are the changes you have in the security track uh, in the NP level or uh, different tracks like service provider or routing switching again there's no routing switching track again so so again one more major change is you don't have a routing switching track so basically routing switching we consider this as a base track like we start with CCNA routing switching CCNP routing switching so there's no more uh, routing switching track we have a CCNA and then you move on to the enterprise CCNP again at the expert level you will have now this CCNP enterprise is going to cover uh, infrastructure the network infrastructure enterprise infrastructure on LAN WAN and also some wireless and then when you are moving to CCI again you have a CCI in enterprise infrastructure spe specifically to wired network as well as wireless so you have a CCI program here so this is one major change so there is no more routing switching track again so that's completely you know replaced with this enterprise infrastructure track uh, rest again you will see the same thing okay so which means now you have CCNA so you'll have a CCNA and then there are five uh, CCNP level specializations you have a CCNP enterprise for wide and wireless collaboration is same for voice VYP uh, video data center is still the same uh, means papers have updated so again there are changes here uh, the papers still I'm going to talk more on that later so now you have five specialization CCNP certifications so total five so one collaboration data center security and service provider and at the CCI level again you have six uh, specializations again you can see CCI enterprise infrastructure wireless again you have collaboration security and service provider 